This statue of Jan Pietersen Koen is one of the most famous attractions in Hoorn. People from the Netherlands and over the world visit the city to take photos with the statue. They commemorate Koen as a national hero. However, a heated discussion is now taking place in Hoorn about Koen and his atrocities in the Banda Islands. Next week, the City Council of Horn will start discussions about either keeping the statue in its place or relocating it to the West Fries Museum. The Green Lift Party has no doubts about removing the statue, as the leader of the party's local group, Roy Drummond, thinks. This statue has, has uh, had its longest time here, and we, we should move it uh, because it's, a, it's in honor of a of a man who uh, stands for, for racism. The Labour Party wants to move the statue to the West Fries Museum, as the party's local spokesperson Thomas de Groot says. We uh, from the Labour Party want to remove the statue from the square, preferably to the uh, museum garden, uh, so it's in a less prominent place, but still open to the public to visit. And because it's part of the museum, it also has got more of an educational purpose. Um, and we all want to have a either a statue or another form of art where we can commemorate the, the part of history where we committed slavery as well. For the leader of the D66 local group, Arvind Road, the story should be told in a probable context. We are, in, in our party, we are divided on what we should do with this statue. Some uh, members of our party find it that it, it has to move, be moved to the museum. Uh, other, others want to keep it on the square. Only what we really think is that if you keep it on the square, you have to create a, 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 some of the content uh, a, a, around it. So, so, so you can see the, the, the statue in its context. Other parties like the VVD and the Realistic Party are against removing the statue. In its most recent statement about the statue, the VVD indicated that removing it would not change the past. For its part, the realistic party considers the statue as a historical tribute to a Dutch hero. For Ad Geerding, the director of the Westfries Museum, it is crucial to have such a discussion about the statue based on facts, not only on opinions. As a historian, he believes that there is a change in the Dutch identity. I think that one day the statue will be removed from uh, the square because it's the way our society uh, uh, develops. This statue is a 19th century tribute to colonialism. And there, there will come a day when the majority of the people in the Netherlands believe that such a tribute doesn't fit today's society anymore. To keep or remove this statue from the Rodestein Square in Horen, this is the question to be answered in the coming period of time. It will be a discussion that goes beyond the statue to tackle identity, tolerance and acceptance in the Dutch society.